Yovalim Jubilees 38. And after that, Yahuda spoke to Yaakov, his father, and said unto him, Bend your bow, father, and send forth your arrows, and cast down the adversary, and slay the enemy. And may you have the power, for we shall not slay your brother, for he is such as you, and he is like you. Let us give him this honor. Then Yaakov bent his bow and sent forth the arrow and struck Esau, his brother, on his right breast and slew him. And again he sent forth an arrow and struck Adaran, the Arami, on the left breast and drove him backward and slew him. And then went forth the sons of Yaakov, they and their servants, dividing themselves into companies on the four sides of the tower, and Yahuda went forth in front, and Naphtali and Gad, with him and fifty servants with him on the south side of the tower. And they slew all they found before them, and not one individual of them escaped. And Levi and Dan and Asher went forth on the side, east, rather east side of the tower, and fifty men with them, and they slew the fighting men of Moab and Ammon. And Re'evan and Yishikar and Zevelin went forth on the north side of the tower, and fifty men with them, and they slew the fighting men of the Peleshitim, and Shaman and Benjamin and Chanuk, Re'evun's son, went forth on the west side of the tower, and fifty men with them, and they slew of Edom and of the Karim four hundred men, stout warriors, and six hundred fled, and four of the sons of Esau fled with them, and left their father lying slain, as he had fallen on the hill which is in Adaram. And the sons of Yaakov pursued after them to the mountains of Seir, and Yaakov buried his brother on the hill which is in Adaram, and he returned to his house. And the sons of Yaakov pressed hard upon the sons of Esau in the mountains of Seir, and bowed their necks, so that they became servants of the sons of Yaakov. And they sent to their father to inquire whether they should make peace with them or slay them. And Yaakov sent word to his sons that they should make peace, and they made peace with them, and placed the yoke of servitude, servitude upon them, so that they paid tribute to Yaakov and to his sons always. And they continued to pay tribute to Yaakov until the day that he went down into Mitzrayim. And the sons of Edom have not got free of the yoke of servitude with the twelve sons, rather, which the twelve sons of Yaakov had imposed on them until this day. And these are the kings that reigned in Edom before there reigned any king over the children of Yashara'el until this day in the land of Edom. And Balak, the son of Beor, reigned in Edom, and the name of his city was Danaba. And Balak died, and Yovav, the son of Zarak, of Batra, reigned in his stead. And Yovav died, and Kushman, rather Kusham, of the land of Teman, reigned in his stead. And Chusham died, and Adat, the son of Barad, who slew Midian in the field of Moab, reigned in his stead, and the name of his city was Avith. And Adat died, and Salman from Amasaka reigned in his stead. And Salman died, and Shaul of Ra'avath by the river reigned in his stead. And Shaul died, and Baal Unan, rather Baal Unan, the son of Achbor, reigned in his stead. And Baal Unan, the son of Achbor, died, and Adath reigned in his stead. And the name of his woman was Matabit, the daughter of Matarat, the daughter of Metabedazaav. These are the kings who reigned in the land of Edom.